All right, guys, we're back for vlog number six, and it's my favorite time of year. It's winter time. Winter time is an amazing time, and not only that, I get to go to Florida. Got a couple points for the Texas Shark Rodeo uh, towards the end. I'm gonna stand back in a little bit just in case uh, a couple of people want to get out there and try to beat me. So we're off to Florida. We're gonna do a back-to-back -back Florida trip. Hopefully, we hear some screaming reels. <laughs> And obviously, hope we catch some uh, giant mass of fish. Be there a couple days, fishing a cold front, Florida panhandle in the winter, massive fish. Uh, wish us luck, all right? We're out. Okay hey guys, we just got here. It's uh, the dead of night. You cannot see anything out there. So we're about to run six lines out. The cold front came in, so it's getting cold and we cannot see. So it is what it is, but we're gonna work hard as we always do and hopefully catch a whole bunch of sharks. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, I was able to get one line out. Uh, we got two total out for the camp. And then that cold front came in, started raining like crazy. So we're kind of just taking shelter right now. We got two lines out freezing about to make some sandwiches thank god we're super starving it's like eight o'clock this cold front's supposed to just push through by i don't know in like half an hour so we're just holding out we'll be back uh how's you guys your boys just hooked up a tiger it's probably like a nine foot tiger we're gonna go take a look at it right now uh super happy about it this is why we come to florida mm. Hold it, dude, it's a tiger. What is that, bro? Yeah, boy! Oh, it's throwing up a bird! It's throwing up a bird! Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, it just threw up a bird. All right, let's pull it up and get it out. That's on. Uh, just a little bit. Nine foot. Almost nine. It's, it's 3 a.m., okay? It's, oh. it's not 10 foot, but it's... Right here. Yep. Done it, boy. All right, you guys, that's the first fish of the trip. Nine foot tiger. We're off at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. We're off to uh, watch the races now. Sit tight. Good morning, guys. It is day number one here in Florida. We just got that tiger last night. We got five lines out right now. Uh, tuna head and jacks. Pretty beautiful day. No more rain projected. Uh, very calm. There's the surf. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, anyways, hopefully we're going to catch some sharks here pretty soon. Hopefully some big sharks. We'll be back. One of the hard things about shark fishing is waking up in the morning after a blisteringly freezing, raining, windy night. It was really hard to wake up at like 6 a.m. It's hard to wake up for many reasons. Number one, because <clears throat> the lack of sleep, but also because it's freezing outside. But I kept to my true land-based shark fishing customs and traditions because it's not true land-based shark fishing unless you have your coffee mocha the next day and bring some back to the camp and your boys along with uh, some tasty pastries. And I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm hungry, I'm starving, I'm freezing, cold, wet. This is just how it's gonna go down this trip. Peace! What up, Zach? What's up? It's 
Still sleeping, huh? Maybe. It's not real land-based shark fishing if it's easy to wake up. It's for the shot. That's our lucky bird, Fred. He brings good luck and fortune to our camp. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Shit, you got some sharks? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I'm a shark. Yeah, that's a big shark. You awake yet, buddy? <laughs> I don't know if he's awake yet. I don't know if he's awake yet. Zach. What's up? Get some, bro. Huh? Tied a reel in that in for him? Yeah. It's a big fish, dude. It's close, dude. You got mono yet? Wait, dude, dude, dude. You're gonna need your plate, brother. It's cool, it's cool. We got you, we got you. Help him out, bro. Too excited. Oh, my God. Don't get it, don't get it, punky. That's that seat. Look at that rod, man. Let me get, let me get my other battery. Yeah, you ain't lying. I'll bring some of my bodybuilder buddies fishing fans. They're like, what the hell, dude? All in the shoulder. You got low gear, man. You don't gotta kill yourself in high gear. How much of this am I recording? It's still recording. You got mono, huh? Yeah, I told you, dude, you're gonna kill yourself in high gear. Oh, my bicycle. All right, it's tail rope time. Julian's hooked up. You got this, Zach, or what? Ah, you ain't got that. Beautiful, beautiful. You're probably pretty close by staying around 10, huh? Yep. Oh, sheep! Be easy, Zach, easy, easy. Get the, you need to get the de-hooker. You're right. Join. Okay. I think your bar. Small, should be. There you go, it's out. We out of here. All right, get the camera on the table, Zach. And the measuring oh, table in the bucket. Get the tape. Oh. All right, it's out. Go, Zach, go. Come on, baby. Swing her out, yeah. She's gonna still spin on you. She ain't happy. break off on mono. Super heartbreaking. Land-based shark fishing is a lot of heartbreaking. Uh, if there's not heartbreak, it's not land-based shark fishing. 
by break off on mono some type of fray hit a shell or something it's 200 pound brand new mono so not sure what happened but i already got the bait back out bombed back out so we're back in business now we're just changing the tuna so we'll have a uh, six fresh lines out give it another shot good okay I'm gonna show you how to how we hook a jackhead real quick, but before I do, I was thinking about the four main things you need to have a uh, successful vlog. I think the first one is you gotta have your footage, you gotta catch fish. Second, editing. Your boy is trying on the editing. Third, you can't really care about people. And the fourth thing that you need to have a successful vlog is to be cool with Alex Stevens or he will roast you hard. So this bait right here, this jackhead, is for Alex. I'm gonna send it seven, eight hundred yards. It's just for you, Alex. All right. Anyways, uh, let me show you how to do this jackhead real quick. So we go through the nose usually, it's just right here. There's a little hole right here. I don't know if you can see that. The shadow may be bad. And these jacks are frozen, so I'm just gonna do what I'm not supposed to do, like that. See that? And that's not, not gonna double back on itself. So. Beautiful bait, heat seeking missile. Anyways, Alex, this one's for you, man. <laughs> Dang it, boy! Damn, oh, again, Oh, snap skins! Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Now watch this stuff right here. Yo, let's get him harnessed up, Zach. Oh my gosh, bro. You know what it was? I brought that fish in. It was following my, following my jackhead. Is this the rattles again, bro? Yeah. Is this the rattles, Julian? Yes, sir. Dude, let's, let's get him harnessed up, Zach. You need to get the harness on. Dude, the rattles, right dude. I got it. All right, you got it? Get it, take right. it, take it, take it, take it. Dude, those rattles, bro. Bro, the rattles, bro. I'm a believer. A, a, it's because you believe. Believer. It's because you believe that it works. Got it. And I didn't know. No. Other side, other side. How you doing there, Julian? Doing good, bro. Doing good, man. You ready, dude? Just be prepared for that. It's in the pool again. All right, guys. Come on, man. He's swimming in, dude. That's what that Mako did. That is not what the Mako did. That's what I mean a bit. The Maracas is taking over the bait spread. Got him? Nice, bro. Good. Uh, I got cutters. Let's go. Let him swim in the water. Got it. Good job, brother. Get your hand out of there. I got there it. Go. What's up, bro? Here. Right on, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You're welcome. Come here on the desk before. Gotta love that. I don't got the mic. Watch the waiters. Good job, bro. Good job, man. 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 Good Thomas Johnson. I love you, man. I didn't forget about you. This guy, man, when I first met him, I met him uh, land-based shark fishing in California. I just thought he was a cool guy until I saw him kayak. He was kayaking in probably like six foot breakers, almost got totally destroyed and did it five more times. So Thomas, bro, appreciate you, man. I'm trying to be like you.
I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Oh, 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 oh. what's this? Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the discipline. The discipline. The discipline. The discipline. The discipline. I was holding his harness like, okay. I don't know if you got the preset on. Oh. You going again? Yeah. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Smash him, dude. Woo! There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Okay. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. You got him, bro? You got him, bro? You ain't going nowhere, homie. You good, Zach? You want us to call someone, bro? You got your wheel, bro? I'm good. Okay. Okay. Oh, ooh. Oh, my goodness. Erica! Oh, my goodness. That's so dope. Oh, my goodness. There you go, Zach. Good job, good job, brother. That's a 10 foot fish. Can you hold the mouth open, Zach? Sure, it's a nine, only nine? Nine seven. I got big fish though. We got fish, dude. Dude, no mercy. No mercy. Yeah, dude. Alright, so you see, I told y'all in Florida, big fish way less obstacles big fish way less obstacles there are a bunch of dusky frenzy right now dusky's everywhere right now having a lot of fun we got four fresh baits out zach's got zero baits out he's about to run i think two out but uh this florida action is just out of control you see what we go through in texas you see what we do in florida so we're just gonna keep doing what we do see what we uh can come up with tonight so after tonight that's it so hopefully one more, two more, three more. Just keep going, keep working. See ya.